is up everybody gg603 coming at you with another youtube video i know it's been a while so much has changed couldn't put my finger on what though oh huh. yeah yeah so halloween came and went your boy likes to dress up for the occasion make sure you check me out over on twitch tv at gg603 the same way as you spell it right here we have a lot of fun we dressed up every day of the week it was a lot of fun a lot of shenanigans ensued if you know you know make sure you check me out over there but that's not why we're here today well kind of is but it isn't you know we like the mystery products you know we like to get a little surprise when we open our packs because why else would you open packs you know you want to pull something good you want to pull something exciting you want a little bit of mystery involved and there's no better mystery in pokemon than when going online and ordering a pokemon mystery box from somebody that you have no clue who they are quite frankly a little gutsy but vetted this uh, product a little bit i opened the the regular pokey power box yes say again pokey power box and i really liked what i got out of there and we saw that they are advertising the ultra box which apparently gives you a little bit better action and a chance at some vintage goodness so i said you know what Let's go check it out. So we got right here the Pokey Power Ultra Box. Looks like an Ultra Ball, but in the form of a box. Very excited about this one. As you can see here, it is still sealed. Uh, got the little, little tape cross there, so I don't know what's in it. You don't know what's in it. We're going to be surprised together. So the box says uh, a vintage hollow in every box. Graded cards, one in five boxes. Vintage packs, one in 25 boxes. And loaded with booster packs right there is your write-up very very excited to dive into this bad boy so appreciate you guys could like comment subscribe note bell ding activated all that good stuff and let's see if we got some vintage goodness inside this bad boy right here we're gonna open it up let's see what we got all right very excited let's get right into it of course you can see still sealed right there we're gonna cut into it give me a moment as i tend to struggle with packaging this mystery box uh not with with uh standing that uh that, that situation there and um nope oh, oh, okay yep all right all right we got through that kind of decently honestly we're using a bottle opener what else are we gonna use right uh we didn't actually get through the cut and let's try again really compelling stuff can we speed this up in post no all right well let's just get into it here we go box is opened kind of no the sides were also all right here we go here we go moment of truth let's get into it Ignore the dog barking. <laughs> that is life. In this box, there is a little write up here. It tells me what's in it, but I don't want to know what's in it because it, it gives you the full list here. I have peeped a little bit of this, very excited, but we're just going to open this as we go here. So, first, there is uh, a couple raffle tickets here. I'm not going to show my numbers in case for some reason someone can redeem them that way. And this is a chance that uh, they, they typically have some really cool prizes each month. A bunch of packing peanuts. All right, let's see what we got. Looks like we got a celebrations mini tin. You know what? We're, we're going to open it as we go. We're going to keep the suspense building to see what else is in this box. So we're just going to dive right into it. Let's just get into some evolution. Uh, yeah, ele ele evolution. Did I say evolution twice? Celebrations. Celebrate good time. Come on. Jam it, jam, jam, jammy, jam, jammy. All right. There we go. Let's open up our tin. Of course, we got, I'm sure you guys have seen these by now. Here is the, uh, the coin that comes with that. Your typical stuff there. A little scene depicting the entirety of the celebrations uh, uh mini tin collections a pair of celebrations packs that don't want to come out celebrations and the darkness displays a chance at some charizard in the house very excited very excited i mean i'm dying to see what's in the rest of this box especially because they had a bit of a pack list there there's a bit of a pack list and some of these packs are very excited about but you know what we got to do this the proper way we're gonna build suspense right you want to know what's in the rest of this pokey power ultra box you're gonna have to stick around so let's get into some packs here of course as always we give away all our code cards in our videos green code card means probably gonna get a bunch of crap here there is your code focus and we are gonna work on uh in the near future hopefully for the holidays uh we're working on upgrading the, this setup here you know i'd really like to uh streamline the the, the visuals i think the audio is decent enough but i think uh, especially in terms of uh, my background, I think I could do much better. So we're, we're going to work on that, hopefully, coming with an update soon, a uh, new camera and stuff, because it, it, it struggles with the focus. See, if we, if we really fight it, focus. Focus. See, it just, it just, this camera doesn't want to cooperate. Sometimes it'll work absolutely perfectly. Other times, though, it is absolute shambles, as we get a Bunnelby, Toxel, Sinistee, 
Laron Reverse, and Galarian Mr. Rhyme coming out of the Darkness Ablaze. Actionis there. Remind me as I get that off my desk. Bunch of stuff you think I've prepared before getting ready to do these. Oh, prepare? You think I'm a professional? Never. All right, celebrations here. So we are actually mainly looking for uh, the big the big of the big three is Blasters. We pulled a couple of Venusaurs, and we actually pulled a Charizard recently. The code card, or the, the, the code card is right there, if I didn't get you that focus properly. And the card trick, as you saw me execute there, we got something, Lugia. Surfing Pikachu VMAX, very nice. And the Cosmo, I don't think we have the Surfing Pikachu yet in our binder. We are working on a Celebrations binder. We're gonna sleeve that up, but we'll sleeve it up after the show, as we often do. It just saves us a little bit of trouble, uh, time here. Trouble, a little bit as well. You know what, put that right down there. Here is your code card celebrations, actually, yours. Best of luck on those. And you know, we do give away all the code cards. You can take them all if you want, but I prefer if you save some for others. Remember, sharing, sharing. Hey, yeah, Alga, Kyogre, Pikachu in the jungle, and a Xerneas. Not bad, not bad. Moving right along in this box, though. Let's just, so there's packing peanuts. You guys can see the packing peanuts. We're just gonna reach in. We're gonna see what we pull out here. Okay, what is this? A sticker. A coupon sticker. All right. All right, let's try that again. Okay, we got a pack here. Ooh, very nice. A little Cosmic Eclipse Actionis. Very excited. That is an awesome set. This is, this is one of the sets that I thought I saw listed, but I wasn't certain. As well as a specific Nostalgic XY set, which I'm very excited about that one as well, as you guys know all. Probably the set I'm talking about. Ooh, ooh, silverback code card, cosmic eclipse. What will we get? Uh, Sun and Moon, so it's four. Okay. Panic, panic there. I was thinking XY in my mind. Chaotic Swell, Tropius, Jogodemaru, love seeing that one. Scro, mm, Pikachu, Teddy Ursa, Nose Pass, Litleo, versus Jolteon in the rare. Oh? Oh, a tag team card, the Togepi, the Clef, or the Igglybuff. The Pokey Babies! Fantastic! Fantastic pull there. You gotta love the tag team cards. I really, really, really would love to see them bring back the tag team cards in the very, very near future. One of my favorite things in the TCG. I actually enjoy the, the break cards as well. Uh, just visually. But I mean, here we go. Beautiful stuff there as we try to get one more focus. Can we get one more focus? Focus! There it is. Beautiful stuff there. Gorgeous, simply gorgeous. All right, let's dive back in the box. Let's see what we got here. Okay, and it is as advertised. My favorite set in modern history. I almost just want to flip it right over. There we go, evolutions. A little XY action. Of course, if you guys want to see more XY evolutions, we've opened a ton on this channel. Very grateful to be able to obtain a number of, of, of ETBs, as well as uh, I believe we opened a Kanto power box as well. There's your code card for evolutions. Is it a greenback? It's a greenback, dang it. But that still means we can pull some excellent reverse hollows, which is why I think another reason why this set's so phenomenal. I mean, the nostalgic factor, look, just look at them. Oh, don't that bring you right back to, you know, being five years old, getting good grades, and getting my Pokemon cards because of it. Nidorino, double color synergy, Charizard's Pure Link, a sign of Charizard to come. Sand True, Poliwag, Diglett, Seal, Nidoran, Oregon is the reverse, and Far Fetched. Eh, you know, pulling something good in that pack, probably a little far fetched. No. At least I like my own jokes. All right. What else do we got? All right, more packs. I can feel the packs. I feel good about grabbing packs here. Oh! Okay, some more XY action. We got Roaring Skies. Very nice. Very, very nice. Love this set. Of course, we are looking for that Rayquaza. Come on, Silverback. Right, I forget XY to put the code cards flipped around on us. Here's your code card, and come on. Come on, Silverback. Oh, let's go! Let's go! XY, three cards is the trick. Can we pull that? Sure, shout out real break. Requaza, 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 Requaza. Silcoon. Ultra Ball. I love the design, too. You can tell these are older. Pikachu. This is what, 2000, 2015? Inky in the brain. Dude, he just beat up me out. We got a robbery. <laughs> I've never pulled cards back to back that depicts an entire, uh, like a scene. 
You, you can, of course, see Meowth very happy. He picks his berry, but Inky's in the background, and he steals it. He beats him up, and he steals it. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm dumb. <laughs> How lucha. Lucha, lucha. Pelipper reverse, and a rare is a Banette. That can't be right. <laughs> I'm gonna assume <laughs> that Roaring Skies is one of those sets where every card's a silverback. And mind you, uh, mind me for a second here. We had actually accidentally uh, combined our piles here. I like to keep my evolution separate. Uh, I like to keep those separately from the other ones just because for, for nostalgia reasons, I just love that set. So mind with me as we fix the desk up a little bit. Maybe eventually we'll have a desk cam. I don't know. Probably not, but we'll see. All right, so there should be a couple more booster packs in here. Okay, okay. Moving right along. Celestial Storm. You know what? Now I realize, I believe Celestial Storm is the set with Rick. I could be wrong. I, I think he is in Roaring Skies. Well, there's a, a string on my shirt. Anyway, um, I, I think I, this is the one I'm thinking of with, with, a, with a great reply there. But uh, let's see what we got. And a good run here. We'll continue. Storm and Celestial Storm. And... I think this is XY. I always forget. I always forget to do Also, Belt. Lobby. I'm not sure if there's supposed to be energy up front. I don't think so. Combuskin. They shove it the Muppet the Puppet. Trico or Treco. Treco the Gecko? I don't know. Ooh. Careful. Mudkip looking adorable. Slugma. Marsh Stomp Reverse and Sceptile. And yes, I was not paying attention. That apparently was Sun and Moon. Way to go, JG! Real professional, bud. Real professional here. All right, so guys, just to remind you here, we still have a shot at vintage goodness as we continue to dive in here. I really hope it's at the bottom and I don't get spoiled before we get to the end. Okay, okay, we got a fun one here. A little bit more Sun and Moon action, a little Forbidden Light now. A little Forbidden Light. And also, honestly, so far, I really like the, the assortment of packs from this Poke Power box. Uh, the regular uh, box, of course, just had all modern stuff, you know, the newest sets. But, but being able to dive into some sets that, quite frankly, I either haven't opened or haven't opened in a while or are just difficult to find, I'm really enjoying this product. A little pricey, mind you. Green code card. There is your code. Probably nothing too crazy. Forbidden Light. Best of luck. That went nowhere. Uh, Four cards. A little pricey, but I think for, for the variety you get, you know, I, I think it's a decent shot. I think it's a decent shot that you can get your value back. You know, here's a Diggersby. Typically, you want to uh, get your money back or at least close to it. And I think you, you've got a shot here. Rock Rough, Gumi, Launcher, Azelf Reverse, and a Sylveon. Rest in peace, Fairy Energy. Well, and Dragon, too. People always say Rest in peace, Fairy Energy, but y'all free of Dragon. Dragons, too. Dragons are people, too. All right. I believe my I believe we have two more packs left if my numbers are correct here. And here we go. Back to the X Y era. Something fell. I don't know what it was. Shambles. Absolute shambles. Alright, here we go. Fates collide. Fates collide. I couldn't tell you the last time I saw a Fates Collide pack. Here we go. And do we get the silver back? More greenbacks. You know, I think that's something that's kind of inherent with these mystery boxes that um, if you're doing it to open the packs, you gotta have some luck. You know, they don't know they're sending you silverbacks or greenies. They don't know that until they get there. You know, they, they don't have x-ray. I mean, maybe they do. If they did, that'd be pretty dang cool. Wiggly Tough, Mega Catcher, Alakazam Spirit Link, Diglett, Snivy, <clears throat> Coughing, Larvitar, Volibee, Random Receiver Reverse, and a Lucario is the rare. All right, believe we have one pack in here, and then we have that guaranteed hollow vintage. Oh, okay, no, okay, I, I, I jumped the gun. That was indeed the last pack. It looks like no vintage pack, unfortunately, here, but, you know, like I said, that is the risk you take with these situations. Next month's raffle prize, a 1997 base set Venusaur. $1,000 Neogenesis Lugia blister pack, and a 1999 base set Blastoise pack. Wow, that's very cool. Very cool. Well, good stuff. Make sure you guys check out Pokey Power Box right there if you were interested in what you see in this video. But here we are, last pack magic. And the pack is going to be guaranteeing a, a vintage hollow in this guy right here. Um, I don't see a pack. Of course, we were hoping for either a graded card or a vintage pack. We got neither. 
But that's okay, you know? You can't win them all. You can't win them all. All right, there are two cards in here. Let's see what we got. Oh! Oh! What? What? Mind you, it's unlimited, but we got the Snorlax from Jungle. <laughs> and what's behind it? A Brawly, a Rainbow Brawly, but that's not the star of the show. Star of the show is Snorlax. So a little bit of schmutzel over there. We're going to take a look at this card as well. Uh, whitening up to the top, likely from play. Oh, heavily played at the bottom here. If we can get a, see if we can get a focus here. Maybe if I, if I pull the light off here a little bit. That that just absolutely made things worse. Let's see what we can do here. But if you guys can see here, we got a got, got some whitening down here at the bottom. Not too pretty there. But um, in terms of the surface of the card, looks pretty solid. I see some. There might be a scratch there, but I think that might be the protector itself. Get this out of the sleeve. Well, investigative work yeah so we definitely got some scratches just from likely being played I, I i don't mind the backside but this right here bugs me a lot because you know obviously if you're gonna display a card like this you'd like to see the front be intact uh let's just just go right into it let's just dive right in all the way so yeah you can absolutely see the pretty much the entirety of the border started to show that the hollow foil looks like we got a scratch there on the hollow other than that, mind you, that's a lot of issues. But the fact that we just got a, a card as old as it is, uh, and especially of all cards, we know I love Snorlax, one of my favorite Pokemon. You know, we typically rub the Snorlax, but like, good luck we didn't today. Huh. Could we have had better luck if we rubbed the Snorlax? Possibly, possibly. But there we go, the crown jewel of the Poke Power Ultra Box. We got Snorlax Vintage Hollow. And it's one of those things where you could have gotten any hollows, but the fact that we got Snorlax from one of my favorite Pokemon, from one of my favorite sets in jungle, I'm extremely excited about this. Let me know how you guys feel about this box. Uh, you can guys look it up yourself, kind of base the value of what we're looking like here. I don't think we hit our value, to be honest, but just for the fact if we got to open some sets that were a little bit more random, plus that Snorlax, we're a happy camper. I gotta say, Pretty satisfied with this product. Shout out Pokey Power Boxes. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Appreciate you guys for hanging out today. Y'all been the best y'all too. Sweet. And I'll see you next time. Woo. Appreciate ya.